Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for April the 3rd of 2020, well, it is titled The Traffic in Taurus. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image taken just a couple of days ago on the 1st of April, and in it we see several different things. Towards the left, we see the star cluster known as the Pleiades, and that is an open star cluster in the constellation of Taurus. Now, the traffic jam is because things are visiting Taurus right now and visiting, Pleiad visiting near the Pleiades, and those are the two other objects here that we see. Uh, the long streak is actually the trail caused by the International Space Station. As it travels around the Earth once every 90 minutes, it passes through various portions of the sky. And at this point, it happened to pass very close to the Pleiades. Now, the very bright object off to the right-hand side is the planet Venus. Now, in order to see the Pleiades, Venus has to be vastly overexposed because it is much, much brighter than the stars of the Pleiades. But that is the planet Venus, and it is slowly moving closer and closer to the Pleiades, and in fact will pass their closest uh, around uh, at least Eastern time in the United States, about 8 p.m. tonight, will pass very close to the Pleiades and pass very, uh, very near them. So a chance to get out and see the, the planet Venus very close to this little grouping of stars that we are used to seeing in the constellation of Taurus. Now, both of these can easily be seen with the naked eye. Venus is the third brightest object in the sky after the sun and the moon, and the Pleiades is a prominent open cluster, very easy to see as well, so you don't need a telescope or binoculars to see either of these. Now, the International Space Station, you do have to look up what its path will be. It varies with a slightly with each orbit and will not be in the same area again tonight, but you do have a chance to be able to watch as Venus passes very close to the Pleiades. Now, one of the things I like to point out here and try to remember is that we see these three things passing close to each other, but in reality, they are all very far away. The International Space Station is very close, only a couple of hundred miles up above the surface of the Earth. Venus is a, a little further away at about 60 million miles away from the Earth. And the Pleiades star cluster, even more distant, about 400 light years away, many, many times the distance of Venus away from the Earth. They just happen to appear in the same direction in the sky, which gives us this uh, very um, interesting conjunction of objects that we get to see today. So that was our picture of the day for April the 3rd of 2020. It was titled The Traffic in Taurus. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.